Hi people, my name is Parker, the developer of Twos, and today I'm gonna to be going over the drag and drop improvements on web. So we used to have drag and drop where you can click, hold, you had to wait about a second and then drag to reorder. Not everybody knew that you could do that and people were frustrated with having to wait before dragging. So we've now added these little drag handles to the left of things where you can pick things up and drag to reorder them. Another thing that didn't used to work was dragging and dropping into a sub list. Here is the drag and drop list that I used to develop drag and drop. It is a sub list on my day. So it's a separate list that is nested onto my day. And you used to not be able to drag these things in or out of the sub list. Now you can actually drag things within a sub list and also outside of a sub list to reorder things. You can also drag selected things. So say I were to select this thing and this thing. We used to have to move things up and down with these buttons, but now you can just click, hold and drag one of the things and both of them will be moved together. You can also now drag the new thing. Let's say I wanted to add a new thing here. You can just take the new thing and drag it in place and you'll be able to add a new thing in the middle. The same thing works from the right things down bar. If I were to come down here and take this, maybe here, then I can insert a new thing in line. You can also drag reminders into the events section. So if I wanted to take this event out of the event section, I would click on the reminder, turn off show and events, and then save it. And it would come out onto my day. Now you can just drag things with reminders into the events section or drag events out onto your day. Another cool thing is dragging things into the week bar. So say I wasn't going to get to planning the sprint today, I can just drag this up here and maybe drop it on tomorrow. And then if I go to tomorrow, I'll see that thing was moved to tomorrow. You can also drag things into a list by grabbing something, hovering over to get to the side menu. And then maybe I wanted to drop it into my current books list. If I then go to my current books list, then I'll see that thing was added. And if I wanna move things back to today, I can just take this one thing, bring it up to the today button, and then that thing will be at the bottom of my day. Let's move it back to the top. The last thing that's really cool is the week view. So if I go to the side menu and then open our week view, the week view is much more like a Kanban view. If I were to make it full screen, I can just drag things between days. For example, let's say I wanted to bring that plan sprint back to today. I can drag it over here. And maybe I'm not gonna get to the discussions with Joe today, so I can drag that over there. This is much more like a Kanban view where you have different columns where you can drag things back and forth. So that is a hint that we will be adding Kanban views soon. These drag and drop improvements allow us to use drag and drop in a lot of really cool ways, which we will be exploring soon. These changes will also be coming to mobile, so hold tight on that. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know if you have any questions or ideas on what you want me to work on next. Have a happy Tuesday.